said times in his rhymes cause his memories We running through New York so you never leave Shut my lungs then we puff until we're that right We're giving them some stories they come back like Manic this, manic that, why you crawling to me? The hell we gonna- Okay guys, welcome back to the channel So today we're gonna be changing over the airfield wars on the S85 engine which is the BMW E60 M5 to the K&M filters. Now, many of you guys know these give a lot better performance on the S85s. They're also a lot easier to maintain because they're cleanable and you don't have to buy air filters. If you work out the price of them, they work out at 30 pound each, which is nearly 60 pound. If you wanted to change them all the time, like I do, like I service my cars every three to 2,000 miles and you've got to pay for air filters, it's a lot of money where you can buy a cleaning kit and have lifetime uh, air filters that you can just clean and reuse constantly. So we're gonna go ahead and replace them and I'm gonna show you how to install them on your BMW E60 M5 on the S85 engine. Okay guys, so these are the air boxes that we're gonna be taking off now. I don't know if any of you guys can see, but most of the clips are actually missing on this air box due to that people have made it a lot easier to just remove the air box. Otherwise, what you'd have to do is remove the little bolts down there, as you can see, the eight mil bolts. And I think you've got them down here as well, right here to be able to take out the whole air box. So what someone's done is released all the clips and then left one. Um, to make it easy, so you can just unclip that and take the whole air box out and get to the air a lot easier than actually having to do all the clips, all the bolts and take the whole air box out. So we are going to be doing that um, to get to the K&M filter, which is going to be a lot easier than I actually thought it was going to be, because I thought it was going to have to take out the whole thing. Now, it's going to be a lot easier as well when it comes to removing the plenum, because that's going to be another video you guys are going to be seeing me remove is the plenum, because we need to get to the throttle body, body actuators, which is going to be coming up and I'm going to be installing the new ones. Um, but this is going to be first that we're going to end up removing. And now they are removed on that side. And if you come over here, we've got the one clip there and the one clip right there as well um, which we're going to be taking out and i don't think there's any at the back here which there's not so we are going to be able to gain access to this one quite easy as well you will have to take off the wash bottle which just comes off just like that to take off the lid we're gonna to have to undo them jubilee clips but in saying that we might not have to we might just be able to lift the air box up and just be able to take the air filter out but we'll soon find out in a minute when we get cracking and disconnecting everything okay guys so what you're going to see here is you've got this little hose on the back right here which we're going to take off which just come off like that we're going to unclip this clip from the air box and then what we're going to do is undo this jubilee clip right here to release the air box intake pipe and then what we're going to do is put the the left sensor as well as you guys know on the m5 there's two it might be easy if you to use a screwdriver to pry them off like just like that and what we're going to do is we're just going to release the intake boot and then straight away we have access to the, to the air filter and as you'll see in there it's quite rusty and dirty inside there and as you guys know, this guy likes to drink his own oil. Um, the air filters are quite uh, pretty bad. So we're going to be using the k and air filter as I've shown you. Um, these are felt for £62 each. I'll put the link in the description below so you guys can go and buy them if need be, if you want them. Um, they're not really expensive, but as I said, they're reusable. And you then therefore you can service them at any time you actually feel like instead of having to pay £30 for an air filter. They're also going to give you better performance because the car can breathe better. Especially on this kind of engine, you want it to breathe better. So it's very easily installed, just like that. And we've got the air filter already in. You want to make sure the math plug ain't caught in between that. And what you're going to want to do is just set that back on top. You set that back on top. So you're going to want to get your... Locking ring, you can see it all back up nice and tight, everything's sitting flush. And then, what you want to do is dig your pipe again and just clip that back in, put the math sensor back in, and put your boot back on. Make sure your intake boot's back on properly. Make sure your Jubilee clamps around this way so you can get to it any other time you need. And you're just going to want to tighten that up like that. As I said, somebody's made this very easy to get to, that's the reason I did it very fast. Not everybody's airboxes will be that simple to get to. So be, please bear that in mind. You, you might have all the clips everywhere. They might have even got lost down the bottom there whenever he's ever took out the airbox. So I'll probably when I do take out the whole airbox, which we'll be doing um, to just see the whole engine, I'll probably find all the clips down there where people have lost them and they haven't been able to clip it back on. Um, so we will be looking for them. But as you see, that one's done. So now we're gonna move over to the other side and install the other one. So here we are guys at the other side, which is the passenger side in the UK. We're gonna do the same thing again. We're just gonna remove the map sensor as this gonna be in the way like that and that's off now now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna unscrew this jubilee clip again which is quite tight and what we're gonna do is take off these lines which is the coolant lines 
the reservoir. And you just want to move your cooling hose as well. And as you can see, you've got access to the air filter right there. And as you see, that's now off. So now what we'll do is take that one out and that one's going to be the same, exactly the same. So as you see there, it's quite dirty. So now what we'll do is we'll just put a new air filter in there. And as I said, these were £60 each. So please bear that in mind, £62 I paid for the meat. So that works out to about £104. But if you think how much you're going to save in the long run, it works out to be a lot more beneficial than the normal OEM ones. And they restrict all your power as well. Some people say they actually run better with the gen genuine ones, which are them. Some people say they run better with these. But it's all personal preference, as I always said to you guys. Many of you guys always ask me, should you go for a K&N? And I say to you, it's all down to you. So now that's in, all we're going to want to do is just put the cover back on. Be careful. You know you the left sensor. And as you see, there, it's all back on. Then what you're going to want to do is just lock your clips up. So now they're back on guys, what you're going to want to do is just bolt up the jubilee clip again, which as you've seen now, is very very easy to do. The jubilee clip goes there. Now as I said to you, please bear in mind you might have all the clips on your air fuel box, which then means you'll need to take out a lot more than what I've just done. Um, that's why a lot of people remove them, to make it easy access to get to. We'll just stick the math plug back on, and all that's done. Now, the one thing I like doing with these K&Ms, is I like to make sure I always put them on because if you go to a garage the garage will shrink to service them and dispose of them so always the best thing to do is to stick these on your box so I now put that on here like that so they know and you need the one just so they know then you're going to want to stick this one on here as well just like that and then it looks the part so as you'll see guys the if it was a quite dirty um, and not just being dirty they smell quite of oil now as many of you guys know it's nothing to be more concerned about if you open your engine and find you've got oil in it because these engines do like to guzzle their engine and that much of a beast when they've got a bit high rpm so please bear that in mind that they do drink their own oil and it's about the only car you will ever find the v10 which likes to guzzle down their oil now that being said you could also have a pcv problem we're going to be replacing the pcvs on this they're built into the plenum theirself so you can't, you're initially going to replace the whole plenum, you can't do that. But these little pieces you can replace and they do get clogged up. And we are going to be replacing them as well when we take off the plenum because this is going to be coming off at some point. As I said, it's very easy now because I don't have all the clips there. You've seen it comes off very, very easy and very quick. So it's not going to be an issue to get these off straight away and get the plenum off in no time at all. So there you have it, guys. The cannons are installed on the V10 engine. Okay guys, so there you have it. I've shown you how to change your K&N air filters. The video was nice and clear so everyone could see exactly what I was doing. As I stated, this won't be the same for everybody because a lot of you will have all the clips. Some people find it very, very hard to put them back on at the back because you need, you need to clip them back up and they're quite tight. And that's why a lot of people just take them off and only clip a few on because you don't need all of them to secure the whole box down. It's just too much on the air filter box itself. But I've just fitted the Canon air filters. We've got a lot more to come on this engine. So if you ain't subscribed already and you have just found this video, please go ahead and subscribe. We've also got the spark plug DIY going to be coming out for this S85 engine um, and the ignition coils. We've also got the throttle actuators. We've got a lot more stuff we're going to be going over on this car as well, as well as the PCVs, um, rod bearings and actuators. And I also know how to use ISTA very, very well. If you check out my channel, I'm the person who actually brought ISTA to YouTube and I'm the main guy who knows how to use ISTA with this car. As you guys don't know, the E60 M5 relies heavily, very heavily on the ISTA program on the E60 M5 and you can actuate everything and test every component on that engine as well as you've got a Vanos bleed procedure on the S85 as well, which is something I'm going to be showing you later on in other videos. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. This is BMW Dr. Dean here. Thank you very much for watching and goodbye.